Hello, my name's David Summer. I'm the Chief Product Officer and one of the co-founders at Qdos. And in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate Qdos Pro. Qdos Pro is a cloud-based software that provides professional communication capabilities to individual researchers, small groups, larger groups, to enable you to showcase your work to help reach broader audiences. So we'll start off with the showcase page. So every user of Qdos Pro, whether that's an individual, a small group, a larger group, a department, uh, whatever level you're working at, everybody gets their own showcase page. It's a branded page and uh, it looks a little bit like this. This is the example for University of Liverpool. And you can customize the, the banners, the logos up here, the text and so on. And each of these cards represents a project. And what we're doing here is grouping together, showcasing uh, the best work from that particular group. So let's take a look at an example of a few projects. And there's different ways in which people are using Qdos Pro. So here's an example from Imperial College London. Uh, and this is their public page for their project. Think of it as a, a living, breathing brochure for the project, showcasing their work to broader audiences. So each research group has the ability to create their own uh, banner design up here. You can upload your own image if you've got your own branding, uh, or we have a, a library where we have millions of images that you can use. You can add logos. Uh, we assign DOIs to projects. So we're the first organization to assign DOIs to projects at scale, which means that then there's persistent links to your project pages and uh, it's good for integration between different systems. So as we scroll down the page here, you'll see the key elements of it. So what's it about, which is a plain language, non-technical summary, what this particular project is about. Why is it important? So why is it timely? Why is it unique? Why should somebody spend time actually reading about this? And then we have the option for you to add perspective. So this is where individual collaborators, team members uh, can all add their own personal perspective on why this project matters to them, why it's important to them. And you start to get the backstory behind these great research projects. And often uh, that is a really um, engaging part of the page. And it also helps drive traffic um, from search engines as well. Then down here, we have the various outputs or outcomes for your project. Uh, so these could be traditional publications, or they could be images, data sets, videos, interviews, news coverage. There's a lot of flexibility on what you can add here. And these are all links that jump off to those various places. So we don't host content, we link out to it, but we do that in a very trackable way, which means that we can measure the attention that each of these outputs is getting, the number of clicks on each of these, so you can see which ones are most popular. Down here, we show who's involved in the project. There's the different collaborators, part of the research team. So everybody gets acknowledged. And then there's space down here for partners. So that might be institutions, funders, collaborators, and so on. Uh, and then the opportunity to get in touch and read more from that research group. And this uh, page is something that you can create yourself, but we also have a serviced edition of Qdos Pro where we can actually create this for you. You give us the, the, the raw information and then we create the page for you. You can then approve it, uh, make additions, uh, and then update it going forwards. But we can do the, the, the initial work for you if that's what you want to do. Um, let's look at a couple of other examples here. Here's one from the University of Liverpool. Um, so a very different sort of project about um, AR um, and particle accelerators. So there's no actual publications for this project, that there are interviews, uh, project sites, and so on. So it's not just for traditional published research, it's for different stages of the life cycle where perhaps uh, there are no formal publication outputs yet. Um, here's one on geostatial dissymmetry. Uh, again, you can see perspectives there. You can see this one does have some publications, but it also has some data sets, uh, some conference papers, some protocols, and so on. Um, and this one has audience briefings. So an audience briefing is where either we can write this for you or you can write this yourself uh, through a guided process uh, for different audiences, such as the press, uh, for policymakers, for educators, for teachers, for clinicians, and so on. Um, and we guide you through the process of writing text that will appeal to that specific audience. So this one has a press briefing. Uh, it also has a policy briefing as well. Um, and you can write as many of those different briefings as you like. So at different life stages of the project, you might have an initial press release. Um, this particular example has a press release and then a second press release. Later in the project, there were additional findings. Uh, and then there can be multiple policy uh, briefings for different policy audiences as well. 
It doesn't have to be just for uh, traditional projects um, as we might think of them. So a good example from Liverpool here was uh, a page put together to promote their online nuclear physics masterclass. So here they've actually given a sort of video introduction. Um, some of these pages also have sign up forms uh, and links directly to register for an event as well. So different ways in which these can be used. Um, here's an example from Research Consulting where they published a, a big study uh, and this is the page to actually promote that study. Um, so there's links to the study itself uh, and then various presentations, posters uh, and supporting material as well. Um, and here's an example of one that is actually designed to promote the download of an app. So it's a 3D chemical modeling app uh, and they put this page together to generate downloads of the Apple or Android versions um, of these apps with all the supporting information there as well. So as I said, we can create these pages for you or you can do it yourself. We have a very easy to use interface. So we have checklists that sort of tell you exactly what we recommend you do. Uh, there's lots of help and support and you literally can type in the box uh, and enter the information. So you can see examples of the language, the length uh, that we would typically recommend based on, on uh, our experience. And you can add as much or as little as you like. Everything is optional. You can add images, you can search for images, uh, we have a, a partnership with Unsplash where you can search for literally millions of beautiful images that you can use for your project, or you can also upload your own images as well. So there's lots of opportunity for branding uh, to help build your reputation, logos and so on. You can choose when your page goes live. Uh, you can add it to our showcase that you saw earlier. Um, and we assign DOIs to projects. That means they're findable, persistent links. And we can also track the altmetric data for your project pages. Adding outputs is really easy, so whether your outputs are traditional publications or slides, data sets, all the way through to preprints, software, interviews and so on, very, very easy. You can just click, add the link, uh, and then you've got the opportunity uh, to add uh, a description of text, you can add a summary, you can add an image, and we sometimes pull those through automatically as well, and you can add those during the life cycle of the project, so you don't have to add everything at the start. This is where you add your briefing, so if you wanted to add a, a press briefing, for example, just two fields there, the headline, and we give you lots of guidance on what makes a good press headline, uh, and similarly for the body of the briefing as well, what sort of structure uh, you might consider using when you create those briefings as well. You can also choose which partners uh, to include on your page, so you can just add logos and, and links there, and you can decide who you want to actually display uh, from the collaborator team, and you can decide to show or hide those. Um, it's entirely up to you, and add uh, project contact details as well. To reach broad audiences, there's a couple of ways in which we help you do this. Um, so first of all, by showcasing your page and exposing it to Google and driving more traffic in is a way that we do that automatically. And we also are starting to partner with syndication partners to push this content out so that it's in more uh, audience portals so that more people will drive through to see your work. But you can also do this yourself. So we have the ability for you to share your project. Uh, either on social media, if you use social media, or you can just create a link. And these are all trackable links. So you can give your link a label, you can use one of our suggestions, or you can just type your own label as well. Um, and that then means that you can share multiple times on multiple different channels, and you can then track which of those shares generate the best results for you. So here's an example of our results page where you can track uh, the, the interest and the attention that your work is generating. So we show how many views you've had, uh, how many unique people you've reached on each of those outputs, how many of those were clicked. Uh, you can graph all of this over time and choose you know, what you want to plot. Uh, and then for those output views, we can show you exactly how many clicks you've had on each of those. Uh, we track all metric scores so you can see how much public attention uh, your work is getting and then all of that share activity you can see which of the shares are generating the most attention whether those shares are on social media it could also be links on your slide deck um, on a, a handout a physical handout with a qr code there's lots of ways in which we can track both online and offline content we also provide uh, a sort of geographic breakdown of where all that use is coming from so you can see country by country where it's happening and you can zoom in uh, and look in more detail as well for teams that want to get more structured in how they plan out their communications we also offer a planning tool where you can specify the audiences you want to target your goals for your impact and engagement and then you can build up a plan of activities whether they're publications events videos emails uh, and so on 
then uh, you can build up this plan of activities, you can have dates, you can give it an owner, you can specify audiences and goals. It's very, very easy to add these uh, and update these. Um, and then that generates you a nice communication plan, which you can then use when you're submitting grant funding proposals. So here's an example of a nice downloadable PDF with all of those activities ready to submit uh, when you're applying for grant funding uh, to help win the grants. And then you can track the engagement uh, of that over time, how many people you reached, who the audience was, um, and add notes there so that you lock up all of this in a vault that you can then download later on when you need to evidence that impact. As I mentioned, Kudos Pro is designed to be self-service, so you can use the tools yourself, or we do have our serviced edition where we can provide you with expert support to actually create these pages. You provide us with the initial information, and we can then generate the pages for you, for you to approve, review, uh, and then you can update them going forwards and track the metrics um, and, and look at the attention that your projects are getting. So to summarize, Kudos Pro helps you tell your research story. It lets you create profile pages for your projects, programs, thematic areas, um, however you want to group your work. Explain it in plain language so that it can be easily understood and link together a wide range of outputs across multiple channels. Think of it as a, a living brochure for your work. We then build your audience through sharing trackable links that might be email, social media, print, slides and so on. You can target specific audiences, such as policymakers, educators, industry, um, with briefings. And then you benefit from the Qdos showcase and syndication and search engine optimization to drive traffic towards your work. And then you can demonstrate the reach and the influence that your work is having. So track and report on the readership and the engagement that you're having. You can access effectiveness metrics on the different activities uh, that you're undertaking for continuous improvement and you can link all of these stories together and showcase them uh, across your group, lab, institution, whatever level you're working at. So do get in touch with us. We'd be very happy to talk this through with you in more detail, give you a demo uh, and also we can talk about our service edition where we can do some of the initial work for you so that you then just get a page to review, sign off uh, and then you can track the metrics going forwards to see how we're building an audience for you. Thank you.